So that was swell, right? We just got done talking about prime factorization. I'm sure you're like, uh, what do I use this useful tool for? Right. Um, one use of prime factorization is division. Oh yeah. If I had had something like, um, give me a number, 36. 36 divided by 27? Shoot. What we want to do is we want to simplify that fraction. Right. Huh. Division. Also, simplification of fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into its prime factors. All right. We're going to use prime factorization to divide or simplify this fraction. So then I'm going to break it down. Oh, 36. That's 2 and 18. That's 2 and 9. That's 3 and 3. Then you break it on down, you break it on down, you break it on down, you break it on down. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Tee hee, tee hee. Now I'm going to do the same thing with 27. All right, fine. Look into 27. Does 2 divide it? Nope. So I'm going to go to my next number, 3. Does 3 divide 27? Yes. If you're... If you fancy division rules, 2 plus 7 is 9, and 3 divides 9 evenly, so 3 divides 27. So I can use it. This is 3 times 9. Fine. Then I can break this down. 9 is 3 times 3. Tee hee, tee hee. And then I can bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. 3 times 3 times 3. Now I'm going to leave these guys expanded, and here's why. What I'm trying to do is take out all the unnecessary factors of 1. 36 could be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Yeah, divided by, what's 27 written like? Oh, yeah, 3 times 3 times 3, and then they fight! This 3 takes out that 3, oh, oh, this 3 takes out that 3, oh, oh. I think they're done, right? They don't really fight. Let's point this out real quick. 5 over 5, 1. A million over a million, 1. What's 3 over 3? It's 1. And then 1 times this stuff? is that stuff. And there's some more common factors. 3 times 3, or 3 divided by 3, that's 1. So after the dust settles, the fisticuffs, 2 times 2, 4, sure. Over 3, tee hee, tee hee, a box, and a flower. Something like, 2, 16, divided by 28. Great. Let's simplify that fraction. All right. Far out. So we break it down. Oh, oh. 2, 16. That's 2 and much. 108. Great. How's it looking? Big numbers. Not scared. Not here. This is 2 and 54. Sure. Does that look about right? Why? Because 2 times 4 is 8, great. Yes. This is still even, so I can still go by 2. This is 2 and 50. No. 27? Yeah. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry a 1. Yes. 27. Whew. 28. Close. But we're going somewhere. All right. This is, this is, this is, this is. 3 and 9. And 3 and 3. Tee hee. Tee hee. Bring it on down. You 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 bring it on down. And this is 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 3 times, 3. Tee hee. Tee hee. Yeah, so I can replace 216 with 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now all I want to do is I want to break down 28. Let me do it over here. 28, man. 28. Great. We see it's even, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with 2. This is 2 times 14. Kara. And then further, this is 2 times 7. And then now I have them all broken down to their prime. So I'm going to bring them on down, you bring them on down, you bring them on down. 2 times 2 times 7. Very nice. So 28, 28, great, is 2 times, 2 times 7. Now that I got them all lined up, fight. Uh, uh. Anything else? No. So here I got 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27 times 2, that's 54. Over what now? 7. And then what? A box and a 
flat. 